Normally when you're in the Midwest, you watch people, and then through the course of a season, you, you see people play. Um, I just didn't see Cincinnati play this year, so um, um, obviously uh, I told our guys, I said, you just don't, you don't slip on a banana peel and get into the NCAA tournament. You earn your way in. Every team is good. Uh, from a program standpoint, you know, they've always been a hard-charging, you know, defensive-minded, tough, um, you know, basketball team, basketball program. And so that's what you have to get prepared for. Um, they're very balanced in their scoring, and uh, you know they're really going to guard. And just looking at their numbers, they're able to, de to defend, they're able to rebound, and also not put people at the free throw line. They're one of the best in the country at defending, you know, without fouling. From, from this program standpoint, how key is it getting back to no. the tournament for these guys that you have in the locker room? Oh, it's huge. Um, anytime you can get in the tournament and, and try to build on momentum, and, and try to get a run. You know, we went six straight years in the NCAA tournament. We had two years off, and now being able to get back to the NCAA tournament, you want to be able to build on it, and you only build on it by winning. So hopefully, we can have some success. I was asking some of your players about when they felt like this really had the chance to be a quite uh, NCAA tournament team, and they all pointed to some of those early practices. Yeah. Uh, did those stand out to you? Those yeah, I, I was hoping they didn't say Gardner Webb, and so because <laughs> um, at that point. Um, you know, for us from a defensive standpoint, there's, and you guys see it with us, there's times offensively we don't really play well, and there's times it's hard for us. And, uh, you know, no one's trying to miss a free throw. No one's trying to miss a shot. But you have to be able to defend every night. We weren't doing that at that time. But um, when they came back from break, you know, we really tried to put a focus and letting them know that we have the pieces to be successful. And uh, I thought our guys did a good job of really defending. And it's really unheard of to see the numbers defensively from non-conference to conference. You know, normally it's, it takes you a year to be able to get that, and our guys were able to, to really uh, you know, lock in and defend. Matt, what's been the key, uh, I think, what, the Bruce won 14 straight opening round games. You've been part of that. What's been the key to your opening round success? I, I think, you know, just trying to get your guys to be ready. Obviously, it's a long time. Last time we lost uh, was my senior year in college. Um, it's just, you know, everybody is good, and it comes down to, you know, being able to go out there and be productive and play hard, and um, there's not one thing I think you can you can point to, uh, but it is something that's kind of neat, and hopefully we can keep going. Matt, it's hard, uh, you know, in, 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 when you're looking at, down the road. In 2007, I thought your your team did a great job in the Arizona game of not looking ahead to Florida, right. but you had older, a lot of you know Landry Teague and Kramer. They weren't wouldn't let that happen. Right. Do you worry at all about guys? You know, God, we get might get a chance to play Kentucky. I do not. Not not for this team and, and where we are okay. and where we've come from. You know, we, we've really had to battle um, to get to this point. And to, to be able to to look past anybody who's in the NCAA tournament would be, you know, it'd be a real immature uh, way to approach things. And so I just talked to him about the respect I had for Cincinnati and the success that they've they've had and how tough and hard nosed, you know, they have their their program. And uh, and we really just talked about that in terms of locking in and and being focused on them. The maturity level of your junior class, AJ, Rayfell, what have they meant for the program to get back here after being out of the tournament for two years? Well, I think first of all, defensively, they've been they've been great. I think Rayfell's really taken it as a challenge to stop people. I think AJ Hammonds um, can be a difference maker on the, the, the defensive end, but they've both just been so much so much more consistent. I think that consistency has been great. And then obviously Octius, his consistency and his ability to defend and rebound has really helped us. Well, he's been in the. He was a, you know, he was a guy for them that, you know, came off the bench, played about 18 to 20 minutes a game, and now he, he has a bigger role with us. But anybody who's been there before and been in the NCAA tournament, it helps. So we got we got one guy with experience, and so, um, no, I, I just think his his leadership's been great from just the way he carries himself. There's nothing like uh, being in the NCAA tournament. The experience is just uh, something like any other. What so. Was what was the announcement like in the room, the, the reaction? Um, we were all kind of spread out. So, um, I mean, it was three different TVs that we were watching it on. And uh, we saw it. Um, we just started clapping. Uh, we didn't really jump around or anything like that. We were just, just excited to be here. You know, a lot of the guys, you know, on the team, you know, haven't had this experience before. So um, they're just very excited as well, you know. What, if anything, do you know already about Cincinnati? Um, I know a little bit about Cincinnati, uh, um, and they're they're a really good team. Um, they're a hard playing 
really uh, focused on their defensive end. They're a very physical team, um, much like us. You know, uh, they rebound the ball well. And um, I mean, obviously, you know, as far as, you know, plays and stuff like that, we'll go into that once we get into the scouting report uh, starting tomorrow. We got to have it. We got to play on an even kill. We can't be too up and we can't be too down. Uh, we just got to be steady. Uh, slow and steady runs the race. Um, we just have to take the right approaches and understand. I think if we break it down to five minute games throughout the game, it'll really help us. You know, uh, let's see if we can win this first five minutes. Let's see if we can win this next five minutes. And I think that'll really help us. And um, I'm going to try to relay that to the team, you know, as, as the game goes on. And um, obviously our, our leaders, we, we got to do a better job of making sure that when we get in situations like that, to, you know, just gather ourselves. You know, don't go crazy and start just uh, turning the ball over or moving too fast. Just understand that there's a lot of time in the game at any given point. And we've proven that throughout the season. We've been down at times and come back and won. Um, we've been up and teams have come back and we've been able to finish games, you know? So you just got to make sure that we take the right approach, you know, and every minute counts, understanding that every minute counts. It's a pretty strange dynamic. It's almost like when you're down at the half, you know, where you, where you want them, and when you're up at the half, when you look at the results, that would seem like a compromising position. That it just, is, is there a common denominator to some of the? We just can't, we just can't relax. You know, um, coach always says, you know, be the, be the one to throw the first punch. Not literally, but you know, to throw the first punch, you know, get out there and, uh, you know, I was going to say something else, but I'm just going to stop. I'm not going to say that, but, uh, you know, just be the aggressor. Um, we can't get complacent. We got to understand that, again, there's 40 minutes left in the game. You know, just like us being up at the half, they're in the locker room telling them, like, hey, there's a lot of game left. There's a lot of time left. And that's the same approach that we have. We got to come out like we're down. You know, if that's what motivates us, then that's what we need to think. All right, we're down this, fir this first five minutes. Let's go. Even if we're up. You know, we're down this next five minutes. All right, now it's the last five minutes. We're down. Even if we're up. You know, because obviously we're motivated by that. And we just need to take, learn, we need to figure out a way to channel that and use it, you know, to our advantage. Being, being what, is it under three hours? Um, it, it means a lot. It means our fans are going to get an opportunity to go out and, you know, uh, uh, get an opportunity to go out and uh, see us play. And you know, hopefully they come out and, uh, it's close for Cincinnati as well, right? Yeah. So um, just hopefully that we can get our we can get our paint crew and every all of our guys over there uh, to make sure that they support us. They support us there.